Good evening, everybody. Um, we've got about two minutes before we start. So again, let's just uh, settle, um, think about our days, what we've been doing, what we should have been doing, the good and the bad. And let's just settle into this moment of prayer. We'll be starting in about one minute. Hi again, uh, welcome. Uh, let us start our time of prayer together. O oh God, make speed to save us. Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your Spirit come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise for ever and ever. Amen. Psalm 84. Blessed are they who dwell in your house. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. My soul has a desire and longing to enter the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. The sparrow has found her a house, and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. At your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they who dwell in your house. They will always be praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion. Who going through the barren valley find there a spring, and the early rains will clothe it with blessings. Go from strength to strength and appear before God in Zion. O Lord, God of hosts, hear my prayer. Listen, O God of Jacob, behold our defender, O God, and look upon the face of your anointed. For one day in your courts is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeep in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of ungodliness. For the Lord God is both sun and shield. He will give grace and glory. No good thing shall the Lord withhold from those who walk with integrity. O Lord God of hosts, Blessed are those who put their trust in you. Blessed are they who dwell in your house. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Lord God, sustain us in this veil of tears, with the vision of your grace and glory, that strengthened by the bread of life, we may come to your eternal dwelling place, in the power of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our New Testament reading is from Mark 4, 35 to the end. Late that day he said to them, let's go across to the other side. They took him in the boat as he was. Other boats came along. A huge storm came up. Waves poured into the boat, threatening to sink it. And Jesus was in the stern head on a pillow, sleeping. They roused him, saying, Teacher, is it nothing to you that we're going down? Awake now, he told the wind to pipe down and said to the sea, Quiet, settle down. The wind ran out of breath. The sea became smooth as glass. Jesus reprimanded the disciples. Why are you such cowards? Don't you have any faith at all? They were in absolute awe, staggered. Who is this anyway, they asked. 
wind and sea at his back, beck and call. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met, each, met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other, that glory may dwell in our land. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. You have looked with favour on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call her blessed. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You have looked with favour on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call her blessed. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we face storms in our own life, help us to have faith in you. Help us to rest in your strength as anxiety builds and fear releases from that, Lord. Help us to recognise that you are God of all things. You are God of our lives, of our future. And you are a God that loves and wants to be with us through those difficult times. Restore our faith. Maintain our faith in you. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We take a moment now to lift our own prayers to you, to lift our joys and our sadness to the God who wants to hear those prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we thank you that you are with us, that whatever we face, you are there. Pray for tomorrow's service. We pray that they go well, that we can worship you with our hearts and our souls, Lord. That we glorify your name, that we spread your word that we are a light to the people, a light to the country and a light to the world, Lord. Help us be your agents of change, to work with you in all that you do. Lord of heaven and earth, as Jesus taught his disciples to be persistent in prayer, give us patience and courage never to lose hope, but always to bring our prayers before you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so with longing we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all, evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me this evening. I pray you have a, a restful night. And again, join us for worship tomorrow at 9.30 or 11 o'clock. Uh, God bless. Take care.